People come and people go. Time is constantly moving forward. Yet, the traces of civilization are still there. They point out what we have achieved. One of those is Chandi Kalasan. Chandi Kalasan is a Buddhist temple. Located in Kali Bening village, Tirto Martani, it is one of the oldest temple in the area. In its time, the temple was magnificent. It is built by the order of Rakai Panangaran, king of the ancient Mataram kingdom in the 8th century. Itu pengerjaannya itu rapi. Berarti kan dugaannya seperti itu bahwa candi itu kan dibangun oleh raja. Raja itu pasti punya dukungan finansial, dukungan tenaga, dukungan apa yang kalau itu candinya candi utama, dia kan intinya itu pengen candinya itu yang paling bagus. Candi Kalasan was a very sacred place. In Kalasan inscription, it is stated that the king also built a monastery near the temple and gifted the land around it to the monks. Yet, it still got support from the king and was one of the most prestigious building in its time. Nah, sebenarnya di, di kalasan itu ada bukti-bukti kalau candinya itu di kelihatannya diwarnai karena ada bajra lepan. Jadi kalau kalian ke sana kan lihat ada bagian-bagian yang putih ya. Nah, itu kemungkinan besar dulu diwarnai. Karena itu kan alas, alas untuk gitu kayak di Tibet itu begitu di Tibet, di Nepal gitu. Nah, bangunan sucinya mereka warnai setiap saat. Even though the temple is damaged, many evidence of its greatness and sacredness still can be found there. Purna Kalasha was one of them. It is a sacred symbol that consists of a vase in the middle and vines that grow around it. Biasanya di kaki candi itu ada di jabatan punya hal asal, kadang-kadang juga ada waktu siluannya, kadang-kadang ada motif tumpal dan segala macam. Itu ya bukan kalau mau teman-teman satu kesatuan, tapi itu memang motif bias ya. Semata-mata untuk motif bias, tapi memang makna simbolik. Ini merupakan apa namanya hal yang sangat simbolik sekali. Karena apa? Karena dia kan tumbuh terus. Aduh ya. Sesuluran itu ya, tapi dalam konsepnya banyak tumbuhnya itu sebenarnya lotus itu, <tuh> Padma. Jadi dia itu tempat tumbuhnya Padma. Gitu. Purna Kalasha is not a principal symbol in Buddhism. Nevertheless, it gives deep meaning. It represents fertility and wealth. Inside the vase, there is holy water. Below the holy water, there is lotus. Lotus, a life-sustaining plant, the place where Buddhist deities sit down, floats on the water without the help of earth. This vessel might gone to any places where the truths prevail. The whole might perish, leaving the others in the state of joy where the lies triumph. Yet, the traces of civilization are still there. <laughs>